Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything in particular that you guys want us to react to, drop a link in the comment section below, and we'll look into it. We also do other things. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, we've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, and our second YouTube channel. And just enjoy what we're putting out there. We also have a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members. And we want to be posting their stuff that we can post on YouTube or that end up being blocked. So, yeah. Like I said, thank you. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for those that are yet to subscribe. And thank you uh, to people that are giving us things to react to, commenting, interacting with us, explaining things uh, further. Thank you very much. May you guys stay blessed and I really hope you guys are doing fine. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to all well, Christians or Jews or Sabians go to paradise dr zaki naik very short video a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video you asked me to explain surah bakhara chapter 2 or 62 but i'm not half of the quran but i know what you're referring to <laughs> people think i'm half of the quran they just say which was and zaki naik will say i'm not half of the quran but i know you're referring to what's on the quran which says that as to those who are Christians, who are Jews, who are Sabians. As long as they believe in Allah and they believe in the last day, they shall go to paradise. This is the nutshell what he is referring to, which is also repeated in Surah Maida chapter number 5. He wants me to explain what does it mean. Does it mean that, okay, fine, if you're a Christian or if you're a Sabian or if you're a Jew, if you believe in God, it's sufficient to go to Jannah. If you see the context of the revelation of this verse of the Quran, if you read uh, Ibn Qasir, it says that people approach the Prophet and they asked him that you know we we have we have been christians we have been jews we have been sabians are there any chance for us to go to jannah it does not mean that fine you remain what you are and you believe in allah and go to jannah that means not believe in prophet Muhammad Muhammad is sufficient it does not mean that it means that whatever you're doing in the past as long as today if you have faith if you have belief you believe in allah and the year after believe also include believe in Muhammad Muhammad Muhammad. So believe in Allah the way Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So it means you have to believe in the Quran And believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also Then inshallah you go to paradise And there are various cross references How to go to Jannah Go to uh, Surah Asr Chapter number 103 Verse 1, 2, 3 which says Wal Asr Inna al-insala fi khusr Illa al-lazin amnu Wa amlu salihati Wa tawasa bil haqq Wa bil sabr That by the token of time Man is very in a state of loss Except those who have faith those who have righteous deed, those who exhort people to truth, those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. So here when it says Iman, it includes Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the hereafter and all the facets of Iman. Then righteous deed, calling people to truth and calling people to patience and perseverance. Hope that's the question. Very interesting video and interesting question. A big shout out to the people that are always asking some good questions. So I was thinking, so what he's trying to say is if you believe there's only one god you go to heaven if you believe in the quran you go to heaven but then i'm thinking what about those people and i'm always asking questions you just have to bear with me but then i'm thinking all those people that believe there is one god one creator one everything but don't believe in any of the religious books what's going to happen to those or what if um I don't know if putting the question the other way around makes sense. What if you believe you agree with certain things that are in these holy books, but you don't think uh, the God they pray to, or, or you don't believe there's only one God. So what happens to those people? So if there's anyone who's got answers to my question, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to read your response. Let me know what you think about this. Any contribution, additions, subtractions, anything. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.
think about you 